What is up my dudes, Midnight Sun from the desk. Uh, so I realized I didn't film an intro video for this one. Um, and to be quite honest, I don't, it's, it's dark outside. I don't really want to go do that. And uh, I really, really wanted to get this video going. So today we're going to be upgrading all of the interior lighting uh, for Sasha and my Tacoma. We're going to be swapping out the map lights. We're going to be swapping out the dome lights, dome light. Um, and then we're going to be changing the bulbs on the uh, vanity lights, you know, the little mirror mirror things. So the dome lights and the map lights I bought from Miso Cup Customs, they're a full LED upgrade. Uh, they look incredibly different, uh, but still super easy install. And then the vanity lights, or the bulbs, I got from Diode Dynamics, um, just their standard LED bulb upgrade. Uh, nothing insane. Anyways, uh, without further ado, Let's get right into it. So that's it right now. You got that little switch in the center. I'll turn it on or off, turn it on door versus the whatnot. Uh, and then just straight off. So this is what it looks like without any uh, lights to it whatsoever. And then it's gonna be really bright there. It is one singular LED bulb on the inside. At least I believe it's LED, it should be. Uh, so let's pop it off and see what we're dealing with. Kind of pulling the new one out of the box here real quick. So you have the, the panel itself, which has a buttload of LEDs. I don't even want to count how many there are. Um, and then on the inside, you got the little panel, panel with or the, uh, all the resistors on the back, and then a uh, freaking microprocessor chip right there, that big white block on the center, a couple of capacitors in there. And then this right here is actually what the bulb is going to look like in the light right now. Um, the difference is obviously that it, this is this, the only light that's up there and it's got an LED um, or a couple of them. We'll look at it when I pull it out right here in the center between these two contacts. So we're going to take the old one out. This one goes in that slot uh, for the contacts and then this just plugs right up in place. So we can see here on the outside we got four tabs, one, two, and then there's two on the bottom there. Um, and we just pull those out. I got my little trim removal tool here that I got from some other project that I was doing at some time, I don't remember. Um, so I'm gonna use that to pop the old one off. And also be careful with LEDs, you don't wanna touch the actual LEDs itself because it can uh, mess them up. I don't know exactly what your finger oils do to it, but it's not good. Welcome to the back seat. All right, so here's what came out, right? It's got the four tabs on the top. It's not the entire housing that comes out, just the plastic cover itself. And then on the inside, we had that little, little switch. That this would slide back and forth of an entire unit uh, in order to push down on this right here to tell what you want on or maybe it's this little slide switch I don't know so yeah as we can see right here so here's the old light and then you can see the LED uh, housing in the center so I'm gonna pop that out I'm gonna touch it with my fingers because I mean I don't care about this one anymore and uh, yeah we'll get that new one installed all right so there it is it looks a little worse for wear on the edges I, uh, I don't think this is a <laughs> <laughs> right bulb to be in there because that was a little bit of a pain to get out but anyways let me show you what i'm working with here so there's a little little tab right here that little silver tab on the uh, driver's side um you kind of pinch that down with your finger and then you can uh, i use the the removal tool but you can pinch that down and then use your finger or to anything screwdriver whatever just kind of put it up underneath and pull it down and out so, so i gotta install the black piece again the little switch itself i don't remember which way i'm getting it goes this way this just should just kind of like pop back into place there we go yeah that's it uh so that's in it should be working just fine and then this i'm going to plug in with the plug firmly in i'm going to use two hands to pop the whole plate back in place and then we'll look at it when it's done all right there it is with its fully installed and off. It's got a little button in the center for me to change the whatever, but we're gonna turn it on real quick and I'm gonna blind myself. Oh my God, that's bright. Holy crap. All right, let's push this button, see what happens. Ooh, it's got two brightness settings. Thought I got the one with the red. All right, I guess I got the dimmable one. That is something else. It is daytime and check this out. Look how much light that, that kicks into the back seat in the middle of the day. Wow. Talk about blinding. Holy crap. Well, uh, next up, we're going to be hitting up these front guys right here, getting both of them swapped out with the same thing. And then hopefully, uh, it's 
It's gonna be even brighter. Let's check it out. Boom! Look at that. Look how beautiful. Hey, Caleb. Hello. And the new member down there is Juniper. You guys will probably be seeing her around. <laughs> the dual color map lights. And I got another sticker. And uh, yeah, so these guys, I've been waiting for to come back in stock for quite a while. Um, it's been out of stock. Um, so in the beginning of this video, we put in the dome light and these ones are gonna be the map lights. So they're gonna go up in the, uh, the front of the cab. So here they are in their full glory. Super, super easy, super simple. I like how Miso Customs uh, sets these up. Because literally, it's plug and play. So this plug right here actually replicates the uh, plug portion of the light bulbs that we take out of here, um, which makes this super, super simple to install. So step one, while we're waiting for these to kind of, well, I can turn them off just like that, actually. Wait for anything. Okay, is to use our little there we go. Use our little trim removal tool here. Kind of work our way around the edges. Oh, my fingers. Oh, or I can just put it back in just like that. So now that we got both of them's off, you can see the light bulbs in there. Just kind of on their own. And uh, I'm going to have to finagle with these to get them out. i got to turn the light on. Give me a second. So I had to get myself my handy dandy pair of needle nose pliers in order to pull this guy out, right? But the LED is up underneath this piece of plastic. I actually popped the uh, little dome off. It'll come off again, but uh, in the process. But you can see there is the plug on the back of the LED that was already installed. And if we put a side-by-side -side comparison with these new ones, so this is pretty much the same thing. Yeah. And uh, it should be a perfect fit. So next, we have to slide uh, the plug up in there and hopefully we have it the right direction. So, uh, yeah, plugged in. Now for the moment of truth. Boom, look at that. The little button in the center should switch colors. Yep, red and white. Sweet. We're gonna do the other side now. Oh, wait, actually, first. So this gets tucked, right? You just gotta be careful of the wires, right? But it just gets tucked right back in the same spot, just like that. It's in. Boop. And just like that, my dudes, we have the Miso Customs uh, dual mode LED map lights installed. So next up, we have the vanity lights, which we'll be knocking out. Uh, as you can see right now, they are orange and very much disgusting. So we're going to take our trim removal tool here. Get the trim removal tool up underneath the edge of the plastic and you slide it right off just like that. It's got a little hook on one side, um, but this little pin clip, whatever you call that, is really what you're pushing down on in order to pull it out. So get the other side just like that. And then you can, you can see the bulbs in here um, are just a really crappy fuse looking, um, whatever you call that type of bulb. And I got myself from Diode Dynamics uh, LED versions. And so these ones are the cool white, uh, as you can see in the top there. And it's super easy. So we're just going to pop these guys out. And then we're going to pop these guys in. And uh, hopefully we're good to go. Now, from what I understand, there's no way to like turn off the power to these lights other than removing fuses and stuff in the front of the truck. So I'm just going to kind of carefully uh, pull them out just like that and call it a day and I'm using two fingers here just because uh, I don't want to put too much stress on the, the metal clips or anything like that in here while I'm pulling it out so I'm applying uh, opposite pressure so it'll come straight out and then uh, remember to be careful you do not want to touch these LEDs um, because your finger oils will absolutely destroy them so we're just gonna kind of gently set them in and they didn't turn on at all. All right, so I'm an idiot. I realized almost immediately what I did. So with the LEDs, um, there is a, God, it's bright. There is, <laughs> that's what I want. Um, you can put them in the wrong way. So as you can see, this one is put in the correct direction and this one is reverse biased. So I'm gonna need to pop it back out spin it around, spin it around, and it should, there it is. 
bright as shit. All right, now we can gently place these back in by putting that little clip in the top first, and then the one on the bottom. And there you have it. Vanity light is replaced. So here, I'll show you the old one and the new one. Just gonna repeat that same process for this side. So literally takes five seconds. See you guys in a, well, a second. Alrighty, my dudes, so it is very dark now, uh, as you can see, and for some reason the garage door is open. Um, and as we approach the truck, the light should kick on automatically. There it is. And you can see inside the truck just how bright it is. Oh, wow. It is crazy bright in here. This is awesome absolutely incredible man and then the vanity lights we can kick those on and they are very bright and very functional um i mean heck the vanity lights themselves light up the truck pretty decently but yeah uh we'll turn those off real quick and we'll pop on these guys with the red light so you can see kind of around the truck what's going on with the red and uh you know, it's still still relatively bright, um, but not super distracting. Put those back on the white. Ah. And boop. It is bright again. And this is dual perp or dual setting, right? So there's the brighter setting. I had it on the dimmer one, just because that's a little bit too bright. Eh. I guess it's really not that bad. Um yeah. It works. Well, my dudes, there you have it. Uh, so that is the pretty well LED uh, light, interior light upgrades um, that I've decided to do for Sasha. Slowly taking off the upgrades uh, with the LEDs and all the interior is done. Hey guys, uh, you can click these to turn them on and off on your own um, so that you can select the red light or whatever. Sweet, for some reason I was thinking it didn't do that. Well, I just proved myself wrong and I learned something. Cool. Um, anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Super easy upgrades. You know, everything is very quick. Obviously, it's just swapping a bulb. If you guys have enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe. Um, once again, if you want any of the extra pieces and parts that I have for the Tacoma, please shoot me a, uh, a message or whatever and uh, we'll figure out how to get them to you. So, alrighty, with that, hope you guys have enjoyed. Midnight sign out.